Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, the manager has defeated Devin the Dream Haney, giving him his first loss in impressive fashion, knocking him down three times, could have been five times. Now he's going to Earl the Truth Spence Jr., the former WBC, IBF, and Super WBA welterweight world champion. Earl is most definitely still one of the hottest fighters in the game today. We know he took his first loss to turns, but Crawford. But Ryan Garcia saying he won't smoke with EJ now, right? Because EJ did Derrick James dirty. I knew this was coming. That's why I tell y'all, man, y'all got to start listening to me when I speak, fam. Y'all have to start listening. Ryan Garcia, we seen him on one live saying fuck Earl and things of that nature because he did his coach wrong. You know, he, he assuming, right, that Earl Spencer allegedly, right, didn't give Derrick James what he was deserving after the Terrence Bill Crawford fight for us the money. And Ryan Garcia came out and said, how am I paying Derrick more when I'm, getting, when I'm making less than what you made against Terrence Bill Crawford, right? So, you know, Ryan Garcia feeling himself now, man. He went out there, he beat Devin the Dream Haney, right? He had a, a spectacular performance, and now he's feeling himself to the utmost to where he won't smoke with everybody. He wants the rematch with Tank. He wants Sebastian Fedora. He wants Jerron Boots Ennis. And now his latest victim that he say he won't is Earl the Truth Spence Jr., right? Now, we all know EJ. Um, he getting ready to pick out his next opponent. It just might be Sebastian Fedora. We know people was getting mad trying to say, oh, he's knocking, cock blocking turns, Boyd Crawford and shit like that when we know that wasn't true at all. We know Earl Spence is with PBC and anything with PBC and it got to do with ESJ. ESJ is going to get it first. But now, you know, Earl Spence, he will respond back to Ryan Garcia, but we know Earl going to look at Ryan and laugh. We all know Earl and Ryan, they had a bet before back in the days where Earl won 20 bucks up off of Ryan Garcia when they betted on Javante Tank Davis in a rolly fight. And Earl ended up winning the bridge. He said he ended up giving it to his mom and things of that nature. But, you know, Earl Spence go look at this and laugh. Earl Spence is always laughing. You know, he don't never take too much shit too serious unless, you know, it's, it's a serious situation. But Earl Spence go look at this and laugh and say, look, that boy on cloud nine because he beat Devin Haney, he better chill his ass out because I'll break his ass down for real. I'm not Devin the Dream Haney. You understand? And that's a fact. Ryan Garcia, listen, I understand you feeling yourself, my G. You young, you vibrant, you getting to the money. You know, your, your, your stock is rising. And after what you did to, to Devin the Dream Haney, right, you know, your stock really went up. And, you know, everybody rocking with you at the moment because, you know, it's, it's something that's, that's a lot of people didn't believe you was going to do and beat, um, you know, Devin Haney. So, of course, you're going to be feeling yourself for things of that nature and people looking at you and, 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 you know, just praising you and shit like that. But you got to be mindful. You got to be careful. And you got to move right on your chessboard. You know what I'm saying? You got to move right on your chessboard and know that, look here, man, um, you can say certain things. You can you can feel a certain way. But sometimes you got to sit back and I, um I can't get the word. You got to sit back and look at things and understand that, hold on, maybe I'm going a little bit too far right now. You know what I mean? I'm going a little bit too far. But at the same time, you're saying you want Earl the True Spencer Jr. Earl is not at 147. Earl is at 154 now. You know what I mean? Earl is at 154 now. You at one, you say 143, so you can't make the way, so you're going up to 147. Then you said you wanted to fight um, um, Sebastian Fedora at 154. You see yourself fighting Sebastian, but now you're saying you want Earl Spence. You know, Earl Spence is at 154, which I think Earl Spence will welcome that fight. I'm going to be realistic. Earl will laugh. He'll joke. But I think he'll welcome that fight. You know what I'm saying? He'll welcome that fight. Okay, you feeling yourself? You think you got what it takes to get in there with the big dog? Um, come on, jump your ass in this ring, and let's see if you can go. You feel me? Let's see if you can go. You got a little punch on. You got a little height. You got a little length. Uh, let, let's see what you can do, kid. You feel me? Earl said Hey, if it make dollars, it makes sense to Earl Spence. You don't give a damn. If it make dollars, it makes sense to Earl Spence. Now, the crazy part would be with the Derrick James situation, right? You have Derrick James training Ryan Garcia. Who will be training Earl Spence? Will Earl Spence and Derrick James squash their beef and get back together? Who knows what's going to happen with Earl Spence and Derrick James? That's why I don't like Ryan Garcia sticking his nose where it don't belong. You feel me? I feel like Ryan is sticking his nose where it don't belong. At the same time, you're still training with Frank Martin, who is Earl Spence's fighter. 
You know what I mean? And not just the fighter. He's still like a little brother to Earl Spence. And Derrick James, you know, he's still... You know what I'm saying? Got love for Earl Spence. I know they got their situation going on about the Bridget with the Terrence Crawford situation. But like I said in uh, my other video, Ryan Garcia, you speaking up on things that you shouldn't be speaking on, bro. You really is. Like, this is beyond your pay grade, and this is beyond you. But you saying you want EJ? Earl Spence is really like that. He is really like that. He will accept it, bro, because you making Bridget. And you want Earl on pay-per-view? Makes money. You dig? That makes money. And Earl is in the money-making business, fam. He's in the money-making business. You dig? And it'll be a good fight. You know, Ryan is a, a fighter that come forward. He like the bang. Earl Spence is a fighter that come forward that like the bang. Ryan Garcia can punch. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, he blessed with speed and power. So he can give Earl a few problems. But boy, yo, oh boy, yo, oh boy. You better be able to take what EJ going to be dishing out at your ass, boy. You better be able to take it. You coming up from 135, then you went to 140. Now you talking about you going to 54, because you got to send me at 54. Y'all got to see a little catch weight or something. But it's damn sure going to be around 50, 52. So EJ ain't coming down to no 47. So you think you can take the power of Earl Spence? You think you can take that? That's a whole different type of power, bro. Them body shots that Earl Spence be letting off, that's a whole different type of game plan. Whole different type of game plan. You ain't got to worry about doing no shoulder roll fucking with Earl Spence. You got to worry about doing some motherfucking stomach blocking. You did Doing a whole lot of sit-ups. You feel me? So, you know, be careful what you wish for, man. Like I say, Ryan feeling good. He feeling himself. Um, he on cloud nine. Like I say, he getting all the praises right now because he beat Devin Haney and things like that. But when you start calling out big fishes like EJ, bro, you better be careful and be mindful. And remember what Earl Spence did to Mikey Garcia. Remember what he did to Mikey Garcia. Mikey was calling him out. Mikey came up. Mikey wanted to smoke. Mikey felt like I'm just a little bit better, a little bit faster, you know, a little bit smarter, right? He's a hell of a fighter, but, you know, I just feel like I am a little bit better. And he got into the ring and found out that he was a little bit worse and a little bit more worse. And Ryan, you talking about you drinking and smoking and partying and doing this and doing that. Boy, you get into that ring with Earl Spence, you better be all the way on point. All the way on point. Don't let that turn Crawford for shit fool y'all out there in, the, in that boxing ring thinking Earl Spence is a pushover and y'all finna go in there and step on him because y'all seen him take his loss and shit like that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He just has something different. He has something different. You feel me? So Ryan Garcia say he want that smoke. I'm not going to tell him not to call him out. I'm not going to tell him not to get into the ring with him. It's boxing, man. Like I said, if it make money, it makes sense. And Ryan Garcia versus Earl Spence, most definitely it makes sense in Dallas, Texas, in Jerry Jones' world, right? Bring out all the people and things of that nature. They already, like I say, made a bet on a, on a rolling in tank situation. Now they can put their own bet down. Now Ryan can go out there and say, look here, motherfucker, I want to make my money back. You took 20 grand from me. Now, guess what? We can bet 20 million. No, they ain't going to bet on 20 million. I'm just joking. But they can make a good bet. And Ryan Garcia, he, he put 2 million on himself, say so he won 12. So he in the betting business. And we know Earl Spence most definitely in the betting business. So, you know, we'll see how this play out, man. Like I say, Earl Spence going to get wind of it. The, the first thing he going to do is laugh and joke. Like, that's a kid, man. He just running his mouth. He feeling himself. I'm at 54. But if he bring his ass up here, if he bring his ass up here and get to talking that shit, you know what I mean? Oh, we can most definitely make it happen. You know, talk to Al. First thing Earl going to say, call Al. Call Al. You know what I'm saying? Call Al. And once he go, don't be afraid to sign that contract. You know what I mean? Going to need more than Derrick James to help your ass out with this one now. You feel me? So let's just see how these things play out, man. Like I say, Earl Spence and Derrick James, it'll be Earl versus Derrick. That'll be crazy, right? That'll have more fucking headlines than Ryan and Earl. You feel me? So I don't know if that'll really go with um, Derrick coaching against Earl. Who knows, though, man? Like I said, I don't know how, how, how the situation is with them all the way, but I know they still got love for one another, and this little money shit shouldn't separate them too bad, you know? So we'll just see how that play out. But shouts out to Ryan. He talking big boy shit. Like I say, he talking about he want boots, Shabashi Fedora and Earl Spence. Okay, let's see if he really want that smoke. Let Earl Spence get win. Let's see what Earl Spence say back, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all know Money B will be back to touch on it. Straight like that. 
and I'm on to the next.